Hey guys, Joey here. A quick CSS tutorial today. We're gonna discuss about the CSS position property. And along with that, we're gonna discuss about its five values. The relative, absolute, static, fixed and sticky. So let's get started. But the first question is, why should you even learn the CSS position property? And where do we use it? In order to answer that question, first let's look at some examples. You can make this clean website using either Flexbox or Grid. And using the position property, you can make a website like this. Look at that, how beautiful it is. So this is called a asymmetrical website. And this one is called symmetrical website. Let's see the difference. On the symmetrical website that is built on either the Flexbox or the Grid model, you can see that they are following an exact measurement. These items are following an exact measurement. For instance, look at this menu items over here, the hello text over here, the social media icons over here, so on and so forth. But in the asymmetrical website, you can see that these dots over here doesn't follow an exact measurement. You can place them anywhere you want. Same goes for this donut image over here, these waves over here, these waves over here as well. I placed them using the position property. That's why you should learn the position property to make beautiful, stunning, artistic websites. Let's repeat that again. Using the position property, you can move an element anywhere you want. Like these dots over here, these waves over here, etc. Let's look at another example. I also made this using the position property. Over here, you can see these waves and these leaves over here. If you look closely on the leaves over here, then you can see that this is the whole leaf over here. I'm just hiding a fraction of it. Look at this pattern over here. This is the whole pattern over here and I'm hiding a fraction of it and I'm showing the other half on the website. Okay, if I drag it over here, you can see that this is the whole thing. Look at that. See this? And then I am just hiding over here so that it gives us a beautiful pattern over here. Okay, same goes for this over here. You can place it anywhere you want. You can place it over here or you could place it over here as well or over here as well. So all of this is possible using the position property. I hope you understood why you should use the position property. Now let's start coding. Let's examine the layout of the flexbox and the grid model. So you can see that this is the x axis and this one is the y axis. Okay, so this layout is called the symmetrical layout because everyone is following an exact measurement. You can see that this width over here is equal to this width over here. This height over here is equal to this height over here. But in the asymmetrical layout, you can see that nobody is following any measurement. This is the asymmetrical layout and the position property follows this layout. So you can see that these boxes are placed randomly. Using the top, right, bottom, left property along with the position property, you can move these boxes anywhere you want. This is what? This is the asymmetrical layout. And all of this is possible using the position property. Pick any code editor you want, which has emit installed on it. I'm gonna write it on codepen.io because it has emit installed on it, okay? So you write this on the HTML part, dot box one, tab, okay? We're done over here and you come on the CSS section, you write star curly braces and then we're gonna set the margin and padding to zero pixels. That's because we are removing the default styles of our browser, okay? M0px tab, oh sorry, P0px tab, okay? Set the box sizing to border box. Bo -bo. Tap. There we go. And now we're gonna style the box, okay? Follow along with me. Dot box one curly braces, okay? Over here we're gonna set the width and height to 120 pixels each. W120px tap, okay? H120px tap. Set the background color to sky blue. BGC tap. Sky blue like this now set the border to 2 pixels solid black like this border 2px solid black there we go we have our box over here we can see that perfectly fine by the way i wrote an entire article on the topic that we are discussing today over here on the article you can see that let's say that you want to revise the fixed position property okay so you're gonna click over here and you'll jump to this section over here. Over here, you can see the source code and the result over here so that you can revise more easily, efficiently and quickly. Link of this article will be given in the video description. Go and check it out. The first value that we're going to discuss right now is a static value. It just doesn't do anything. This is the default value of every element we have. Let's look at the demo. 
So come back to code pen over here and you write position static over here. Okay, static. In order to move an element which has a position property, we're going to use four properties top, right, bottom, left. Let me show you. Let's say that I want to move this box uh, 100 pixels from the left and 100 pixels from the top. In order to do that, you're going to write top uh, 100 pixels like this and left uh, 100 pixels like this. Now let's see what happens. You can see that nothing happens. That's because the static is a default value and it won't do anything. We're done with the static value. Let's look at the relative and the absolute value. The relative and the absolute value works in the same way except in one sphere. The relative position is used to identify the parent and the absolute position is used to identify the children. We're going to look at examples, don't worry. So come back to code pen and over here if you change the position to relative, relative like this, control S and let's see what happens. Now we can see that box has moved 100 pixels from the left, 100 pixels from the top like this over here. If you write absolute, let's see what happens. Yeah. Absolute like this, you're gonna see the same result. That is because both of these properties, I mean values, relative and the absolute are the same thing. It does the same work except in one sphere. The absolute declares the children, the relative declares the parent. Like this, come over to HTML. Um, let's let me show you a demo, okay? Come to the HTML section and delete everything, okay? Over here, you're gonna write body like this. Tap. And inside the body, you're gonna write the box one, okay? Dot box one. Oh, sorry. The box one, like this tab. And inside that box one, we're gonna create another box, okay? Like this, look. Dot box two tab, okay? So look, what do we have over here? We have the body over here, the box one over here, and inside that box one, we have another box, box two. Now we're gonna style this, okay? Come to the CSS section. And on the box one, we're gonna remove this uh, position absolute top left like this, and you're gonna write margin, sorry, margin auto. And what it will do is it's gonna center this box at the very center over here horizontally, okay. And now you're gonna change the width and the height to 300 pixels, okay, like this. Look. We have this big box over here and inside that box we're gonna style that box number two like this look box two curly braces control s and over here we're gonna write h hundred pixels tab w hundred pixels tab then bgc tab we're gonna write pink over here oh my bad pink over here like this and we have this box over here and set the border two pixels okay border two px solid black like this and there we go we have this box now at the bottom over here what you're gonna do is you're gonna select our selectors like this look body curly braces over here then dot box one curly braces and dot box two okay let's say that we have written something extra on the box one don't worry it's gonna get applied to this box one over here as well Okay, so come over here on the box two and you're gonna write position absolute, okay? Like this and let's say that we want to move it 100 pixels from the left, okay? So you're gonna write left 100 pixels like this. Now let's see what happens. Now we can see that the box is actually moving 100 pixels from the body. This white section, this entire white section is our body and it is behaving relatively. I mean as the parent, okay? That's why this box is moving 100 pixels from the body. But let's say that I want to change that position. I want to change the parent. I want to make the box one parent, okay? So let's say that we're gonna, we're gonna write over here, position relative over here. Control S and let's see what happens. Now look, the box is actually moving from here, from the box one, okay? That's because using this position relative property, I have changed the parent from the body to the box one. So here's an illustration of the example that I showed you, okay? So if you use a relative position on the box one, what will happen is this pink colored box will be the children, okay? And the box will move 100 pixels from the parent, okay? But if the body is our relative position, what will happen is the box will move 100 pixels from the body, like that. Let's see again, okay? If you remove this from here and if you change it over here like this, 
position relative will be over here then you can see that body then you can see that box is moving 100 pixels from here from the body this entire section is our body okay let's experiment again okay control x and paste it over here control v control s and let's see now you can see that box is moving 100 pixels from this box one again i hope you understood the relative and the absolute position I hope you understood the relative, absolute and the static position. Now let's look at the fixed and the sticky position. First we're gonna look at the fixed position, okay? So come over here and delete everything, okay? Control A, delete and you write dot container over here like this. And inside over here you're gonna write P, okay? And again P tap. Let me expand this so that you can better see. So this is the paragraph text and this is the paragraph text over here. Okay. And at the middle, we're going to write dot box one like this dot box one tap. Okay. And you can see this. We're going to have text over here. We're going to have a box over here and then we're going to have more text over here. Okay. So come to the code pen. Uh, I mean the CSS section and we're going to remove this body from here. We don't need it. Then this section as well. And on the box two, we're going to name it box one. And remove this box one from here so that um and there we go except this code over here you're gonna delete everything okay so we have this box pink colored box let's set it to sky blue sky blue like this and over here we're gonna set some uh paragraph so over here come and write lorem 150 tap okay we have this text over here and we're gonna place some text over here as well so write lorem 150 tap there we go so you have this result over here and now come over here and at the very bottom you write dot container and we're gonna set the height to 3000 pixels container height 3123px like that so by doing that we have a scroll bar over here so that you can scroll and examine the results fixed and sticky so once that's done Come over to the box one over here and at the bottom over here you write position fixed okay and then let's set it to top 100 pixels and left 100 pixels as well like this follow me top 100 pixels tap and left 100 pixels tap there we go and we're gonna have this box over here at the very middle over here at the center over here now what happens look when we scroll our window you can see that this box is at that exact position it's not moving anywhere look it's blocking our content like this look even if we scroll it's gonna block our content over here this is the use case of the fixed position i hope you understood it now let's look at the sticky position now come back over here and you write sticky over here it's t i c k y control s and then we're gonna have this box at the middle over here why is that that's because of our position on the html you can see this uh, we have this text at the first then at the middle we have this box and then we have text okay text box text like that now let's see what happens when we scroll if you scroll down you can see that the box is actually getting sticked over here once we scroll past the content over here like this look at that you can see that in order to examine that even better let's set the top to um, 10 pixels like this Control s and you scroll down you can see that the box is is getting stuck at the top over here and there is 10 pixels of gap you can adjust the gap over here like this top 20 pixels like that there we go we have 20 pixels of gap over here and if you scroll down you can see that the box is fixed completely over there let's examine again like that now let's look at some examples on my article at the bottom i have mentioned the name of some website which uses a sticky position so let's look at the website of awake boards okay now look at this over here we have this section this global shipping split payments easy maintenance etc and then we have this navigation bar over here okay now look what happens when we scroll down you can see that black colored ribbon gets disappeared when we scroll down like that look at that look at again okay like that it gets disappeared and if we scroll down even further you can see that that white colored ribbon i mean the navigation bar also gets disappeared like that look at that it appeared again it disappeared it appeared it disappeared like that now let's look at the website of fermi look at this brown colored ribbon over here okay if we scroll down it's gonna get invisible if you scroll to top again you can see that over here again okay so you scroll down scroll to the top at the very top okay 
So we're gonna see this ribbon over here again. I hope you understood it. Let's look at another example of Latore. All right then, look at this nav bar over here. If you scroll down, you can see that it gets invisible. Okay, if you scroll down again, then you can see this nav bar over here. Okay, so let's look at it again. Okay, we have it visible. Okay, invisible and then visible again. So these are the use cases of the sticky position. You can visit these websites over here to get a practical feel. And using the relative or the absolute position, you can place your content anywhere you want. So here's a demo. You can move these dots, these patterns, these leaves, these leaves over here, these waves over here, anywhere you want. So we're done with the tutorial. I hope you understood all the five values of the position property. If you like the video, give a like, share it with a friend and feel free to subscribe. Till then, take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.